Okay, ladies and gents, welcome back to yet another Asian robot video. All right, this is the people's champion here to bring you some information which I think might be really, really fucking helpful. Okay, um, a lot of people have been asking me, why do I not use Half-Life builds? You know, they're always said to be so great, they're powerful. Let me explain to you with mathematics why. Okay, let's get into the, let's get into the builds first, right? Now, with my normal traditional sword build, this is the one that I built. Okay, it's in my YouTube channel. You can go check that out. All right. Your damage bonuses come from this is my tenacious build, Berserker, thirty five percent. Tenacious. Now, considering my build has one thousand three hundred hit points, I get twenty six percent from tenacious. Predator, thirty five percent. Okay. My total raw damage bonus is 35 plus 35 plus 26, 96. Okay? Now, keep that number in your mind. And my crit rate is only, I only deal the normal crits, but my crit rate has the potential to be unlimited. Okay? And with Fortress, I get 7% bonus. Keep these numbers in mind. Okay? Keep these numbers in mind. You're following me so far, right? Let's switch on over to a Half-Life build, fully spec for damage, all right? Maxed out on the damage. Okay, let's talk about it. Number one, you've got your Berserker, 35%. All right? You've got your Predator, 35%. Pulse adds 65, uh, adds 15% to your critical strike damage, all right? And gives you a 20% crit rate flat because every fifth hit is a critical. Your discipline will not be added to the crit rate because it gives you 7.5, meaning that your other hits outside of pulse have a 7.5% chance of critting. Okay, um, but in order to simplify the calculations, we'll just set your crit rate to 20%, which is actually an overstatement. It's actually an overstatement of average DPS, but we'll, we'll let that roll. We'll let that roll because um, there's going to be a slight understatement later that we'll cancel out for the ease of calculations. But again, Let's focus on the raw numbers. 35% Berserker, 35% Predator, Rage, 25% so long as you're at half health. Okay, you're following, right? We're not gonna put in any defensive items, okay? Just to show you, just to show you how this works. Discipline has to be in there, okay? We've still got Cascade in there. Now, could you possibly slot in more stuff? Yes, you possibly could. You possibly could, but um, I, I'm, I'm trying to compare apples to apples here. I'm trying to fit in whatever I can while still having Cascade because people like Cascade, okay? You want to fit in other builds? You can, you can. You could certainly buff up your overpower to get even more uh, damage out of it with Knockout King, Togedora's Core. You could do that to stack on even more power from overpower, which would make you feel strong. Yes, yes, you could. But I'm going to show you why the calculations are simplified in this manner because I could do the same thing with Tenacious. All right, so we're, so we're not going to go into that territory of maxing out both to show you why they're not effective. Okay, we're going to keep apples to apples. All right, so we're going to keep Cascade, which is featured in both builds here. All right, and the overpower comes from this, okay? It will count as the throwaway talent, which is the same as in the normal build, Knockout King, which you get from your Skarns, okay? So we do not include overpower into our calculations. Now, even if I do, all right, I can show you how it'll work, but then I would go full calculations on the other side. Let's 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 take a look at the mathematics now. Now that you know what's being added on both sides, let's take a look at the mathematics. It's a very basic calculation. Now, if you remember when I discussed um, pulse versus cunning, I did a very simple formula calculations. Okay, um, you can go back there if you want to see the formula. But just to verbally tell you once again, the formula is very simple. All right. Any damage, so I use 100 as a dummy number for your damage, will be multiplied first by your raw damage. Okay, these are raw damage numbers. Multiplied by your crit rate, okay, and crit damage. Okay, so in order to determine the average of that, this formulation is used. And then multiplied by attack speed. Okay, now I've done several variations just to show you how things work. Okay, we're going we're gonna to temporarily insert there. This is with Wild Frenzy and No Berserker. This is with Berserker. And this is Tenacious. Okay. 
All right. So, assuming that you use Wild Frenzy instead of Berserker, your final life points, okay, would be 1,100, cut in 50% by discipline. You have 550 health, all right? Your total damage bonus is 35% from Predator plus 25% from Rage. You've got Pulse giving you the 65% crit damage and a crit rate of 20%, okay? And you multiply the whole damn thing by 1.2 because that is your entire attack speed, okay? In fact, hold on. Slightly incorrect calculation. Um, I mean, it's, it amounts to the same thing, but I like to have all my brackets clear because you multiply the whole thing by attack rate. Okay, so your DPS, roughly, the dummy number amounts to 216.96. Okay, so if you were to deal 100 damage, you would instead deal 216.96 damage. Okay, now with Tenacious, all right, with Tenacious, you've got your same dummy number, 100, so this doesn't change. Berserker, 35%. Tenacious, 26%. Predator, 35%. Your crit rate gives you 50% damage. Now, I set it to 20%. Now, with Tenacious, you can have up to 100% crit. But just to compare, once again, if we're comparing apples to apples, let's set the crit rate at the same. So at 20% crit, which means 1,000 shields, very easy to achieve, right? Um, and this, this discounts the 7% from Fortress, by the way. This is discounting the additional 7% from Fortress. Your final DPS comes out to 215.6. Pretty cool, right? The DPS is not very much. Now, is Wild Frenzy or Berserker better? Okay, let's plug in Berserker and see. If you were to plug in Berserker, okay, your, your numbers uh, for the Half-Life build would be 100, dummy number for damage, multiplied by 35% Berserker, 25% Rage, 35% Predator, multiplied by um, Pulse's crit, rate, crit damage, 65%, multiplied by the 20% uh, rate and then now your attack speed is one okay because <clears throat> you're not doing any attack speed boosts all right what you would end up with is 220.35 okay so how much higher is your dps with berserker now your health with berserker gets cut by 300 so you have 800 full life halved by discipline you have 400 health one shot from anything is going to wipe you out and after all that, compared to a full life tenacious build at 20% crit rate, which is super easy to achieve, 1,000 shields, your DPS is only 98%, uh, is only 2% better. Because um, what I did was I did tenacious divided by berserker. Okay. So tenacious divided by berserker to see what percentage tenacious DPS is of the berserker build. It's, you're only getting 2% more out of that Half-Life build. And you have to play stressfully, perfectly, because you can't take a hit. Okay. Want to see something cool? What happens if now, on average, 1,500 shields are very easy to achieve? All right. I have done it numerous times in numerous videos. You can literally go and see what kind of shields I end up with. Now let's also add the bonus from Fortress. Now Fortress, if you recall, is 375 shields. Okay. Okay. So 300, um, every 50 shields gives you 1% crit rate with Tenacious. So 350 shields is 7 times. So 7%. I know I said 375, but you can't count um, 25, right? You can't count a half of 50. So you take off the 25, you get 350. All right. At 37% crit rate, how do the numbers look for Tenacious build? You will see that as soon as the crit rate goes above 20%, the Tenacious build starts to outperform. And you would actually have 105% DPS, um, which, which means that you are 5% higher than a Berserker Half-Life build. This is stacking every single fucking bonus you have. Okay, this is stacking every single fucking bonus you have to even barely try and equal a Tenacious build. This is, this is what it looks like. Stacking Berserker, Rage, Predator, Pulse, Discipline, even if you add in overpower, all right? I'm going to have to show you guys this again because you guys need to understand where these numbers are coming from. Even if I were to add in overpower, all right? So we're going we're gonna to take this formula. We're going to put it here in a separate line. Okay, let's say that we add the... Um, now, your overpower is not going to be up 24-7. So what I will do is I'll add 30% from the overpower multiplied by 50%, which is your expected uptime. Expected uptime, Okay. Expected uptime refers to um, how often you can expect overpower. 50% is overestimation. 50% of the time, the behemoth is not going to be staggered. 
okay but i like to overestimate because i want i want to i want you guys to see how this whole damn thing works even if i were to overestimate it at 50 percent your dps comes out to 224.3 what happens if i overestimate it now to let's say you have a fantastic 80 percent stagger time your dps is too higher than a tenacious build at 37 percent crit rate all right what if I give you 100%, 100% of the overpower bonus right here? You end up at 241. All I have to do is push my crit rate to about 40, which is 2,000 shields. Very easy to achieve. I throw in my fortress bonus, and I've already still beaten it by one, by one point. Are, are you starting to see why the Tenacious build is so strong? It's because you cannot compete with 100% crit, 100% potential crit rate. You can stack any amount of damage, but your your build, your Half-Life build, is going to be dragged down by the fact that you do not have a 100% crit rate. If you want to mix and match, you can try. It's not wrong to try. I would actually suggest mixing and matching if you desperately want to do a Half-Life build for some reason. But at that point, is it really a Half-Life build? You'd just be making a poor man's tenacious build. The only thing you could get out of it that I would say might be a force multiplier, okay? Um, let's take this, for example, right? I'm sorry. Okay, the reason why I'm setting this other thing up is, let's say, let's say you were to have a 100% crit rate build. Um, by swapping out you would have no overpower you'd have norcal king instead because you put an agris weapon on on the half-life build you would add in wild frenzy right so let's say that you manage to drive your crit rate up to say 40 which is which is honestly quite standard even then even then when you start mixing and matching unless you're going to toss in berserker in in favor of pulse all right Let's toss in Berserker in favor of Pulse, right? So let's change that over. Um, you'd get something like this. And you'd have a Wild Frenzy bonus here. Yes. In this case, then, yes, your Half-Life build shows great potential. It, it shows great potential. It really does. Assuming you're willing to sacrifice your, um, your Pulse and, you know... You'd have to go in with completely no, um, what you call it? You'd be going in with with absolutely no shield. So one hit and it's over. All right. You'd have to start building up your your shields from scratch. Yes, there is a tremendous potential. There is. Because if we compare, if we compare it in that case, the wild frenzy gives a huge, huge potential damage burst over over a, a normal Tenacious build, okay? Let's see how much exactly you're getting. You're getting a whopping 16% right there. But then you're limited to only one weapon, Agoras. Agoras bonded with Skarn. So it comes down to the whole problem again of, is, is that really what you want? If that if that is then then by all means go ahead. Um, that would technically speaking be how to develop the best DPS. But but you see the reason why people are playing Half Life builds right now is because they want to play their Hellion. Sorry, they they want to play their Torgador. They want to play their Malkyrion. No matter what you play, unless you're playing at like a super scrunched up level, you will not be equal to a tenacious build. And that is why I use a tenacious build. Oh wait, no no sorry sorry sorry. Oh my god. I forgot. This is this is not possible. Um, go in, go in, go in. Uh, you would have to take out Rage because you'd have to replace Rage with Tenacious. My bad about that. So you'd you'd have to give up something to get Tenacious, but instead you would get um, this Berserker of Tenacious. You get four, four times eight. You get eight percent. So sorry, sorry. That calculation was totally out of whack. Um, I knew it wasn't thirteen percent. So you'd get about like. At, bo at with both at like 20% crit rate you would get with t with the tenacious half-life build you'd get about 8% more dps 
you get roughly 8% more DPS. I'm, I'm so sorry about that mess up calculation. When you start playing with numbers, this is what happens. Um, so Rage would be replaced with Tenacious because they're the same They're the same type. They're all power cells. Um, fitting it in might be a pain in, pain in the hole. But ultimately, what, what you would end up experiencing is that you would have a situation whereby... Um, yeah, that would that would literally be the only way that a half life build would uh, overtake a tenacious build. Otherwise, the tenacious build, as you've seen throughout this video, literally outperforms at every possible instance. Okay, you just, you just drive up, just drive up the crit rate a little bit, and then boom shakalaka. You know, just drive up the crit rate a little bit. Now you wouldn't have fortress here, so you know. It's hard, it's hard for people to understand sometimes without seeing the numbers why I say the things that I do, why I say, you know, this Half-Life build is not effective in comparison to a Tenacious build. Again, you can go out and try, and I'm not saying don't play the Half-Life builds. If they are what you like, please, by all means, go and play them. Go and play as many Half-Life builds as you want, okay? Nothing, nothing is going to take that away from you. Nobody can take that away from you. Go play your Half-Life builds. If you are comfortable with them, play them. But what I'm saying is that when you look at why I choose not to use them, it's because the builds that I design are not only a high DPS, but also survival. And Tenacious brings that. Not only do you survive everything, you dish out some of the highest damage in the game. Yes, you are limited to Agarus, but it doesn't mean that it's ineffective. If you limited yourself to Agarus with a Half-Life build, yes, you could potentially outperform, but that build is hard to do. All right, so I hope that this has helped to bring some understanding as to why Half-Life builds versus Tenacious builds have problems. It's because they are dragged down by the fact that they cannot 100% their crit rate without also using Tenacious. All right, so thank you very much for taking the time to check out that video. All right, um, if, you, if you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed it, okay, please, please don't forget to drop a tip for me. <laughs> like share and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one don't forget tips are my only income right now so you want to keep your boy alive hit that button otherwise thank you for viewing and i hope that this has helped you understand half-life versus tenacious okay see y'all in the next one